What the hell? You stupid... Hate me all you want. He's dead because of you. You should be the one here. Lifeless. Worthless. You're awake from this point. It's me! Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Dodgy and yes, I have returned and we are playing a new game. It is the Mortuary's Assistant. As you guys know, I've been gone for a week. I've been playing random videos of my Fortnite sessions with my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy those. Um, but now we're back. We're playing Mortuary's Assistant. With that being said, grab your snack, grab your beverage of choice, grab your stuffy, and let's get on with the show. Dread XP. Positively spooky. I like this. Warning, what you're about to experience is based on real paranormal events. Researchers of the occult have shown that heightened moments of emotion, such as fear, can encourage the manifestations of hauntings. Ooh, spooky. I'm scared, guys. All right, we're gonna start a new shift. New shift, new game. This isn't the demo, folks. I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations, hmm. sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. 1998, nice. Connecticut. I'll okay. never understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I'm proud of you. I really am. Oh. You've come so far. So, you haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my oh. teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. Over... No. I'm Over, not moving. What do you He's call actually it? located around Over here. Overbearing mother. <laughs> River Fields. Oh, Rebecca. River I don't Fields. like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things about that place. I'd just be worried people about you. Make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. I'm sorry. That's your grandma. Be more respectful. But I wanted to give you this. She's anyway. just she's just worried so, about you. Here. Is that a cross? I, I don't know if I want that. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. Whose whose was that? Whose is it? Thanks. All right. Enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. Hmm. Okay, there was a lot of mysteriousness about that necklace. It, we were looking at it a little bit way too hard, so that means that there was something in the past um, that's attached to that necklace, that amulet. The old mortuary. All right, here we go. Okay, let me get my bearings. Pat, it's like. Why is it so, so slow to turn? Is there a way I can fix that? Ah, yes, thank you. So, um, okay, all right, let's see. Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign thanks. Zoe? P.S. Good luck. Okay, pencil from the desk. Got it. Okay. Uh, quick inventory. Okay, so this is basically the tutorial. Uh, 
That was weird. What? Sure. Okay, we'll go with that. Rebecca. Whoa. Great. Perfect oh, timing. Hey. Hello. I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Mrs. Page. Okay. Use the gurney by standing behind it and pressing the gurney interact key. Then walk backwards with the gurney down the hall. Sounds dangerous. Okay. All right. So let's finish with this guy. I don't like that I have to walk backwards. Okay, to bring body in or out of cold storage, open the bay with the body's name, pull out the rack, then move the cart over to it. Okay. Should be easy enough, right? Okay. <laughs> I feel so unstable right now. All right person of the deceased. Now, um, grab this, pull this out. Okay. All right. And shove him back in there. All right. Have a pleasant rest of your after life, I guess. Mr. Dalton. Oh, and this is Dorothy. Dorothy? Let's pull Dorothy out. Dang, Dorothy? Dorothy had a boob job or something, golly. It's all right, no shame, no shame in that game. You do what makes you happy, mama. Oh, oh God, okay. All right, and uh, let's move that in there. Okay, cool, all right. Um, let's pick up, pick Dorothy up, okay. Oof. Dorothy, you have seen better days, haven't you? Let's wheel you over here. Ugh. Her feet's even moving. That's weird. All right. I'm just finishing up something here. So why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks? I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. Okay. All right. Um, so uh, here's the clipboard. Okay, cool. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, um, view clipboard. Let's look at the clipboard. Uh, Dorothy, age 87. Oh, she lived a good life, I guess. All right, so we got to look at head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Okay, got it. All right, so pretty much what we um, did in the demo. Aha, look, there's an abrasion on her left palm. Oh, looks like we got uh, some scratches or pebble marks here. I don't know. It looks like maybe she was, like, interacting with some kind of pebbles. Like, you know, like... Jesus Christ. Hmm. These old windows never stay latched. That was a window? There's a mole. There is a mole on her foot. Clearly, she did not use any uh, sunblock for her feet. But only her feet. There's a... Uh... Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Small. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After that, we'll get started. Okay. Trying to rush me. Um, excuse me. Um, you're kind of in the way. I'm trying. God, he's in the way. All right. You'll die here. What was that? I didn't say anything. You all right? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. No. No, I'm not all right. Somebody just whispered, I'll die. I'll die here. That was unnerving. Um, <laughs> was not expecting that. Okay. Focus. All right, let's go. So I think, I think it should be the same, right, as the last time. So, uh, head, nothing, uh, right, right arm. Where's the right arm? Right arm. And there is a left and right leg thing. Okay. Left arm. And that was it, right? We didn't even check the shoulders. 
Oh, Dorothy, age 87. Okay. And submit. Oh. Did I do good, boss? I'm guessing I did. Let's take that. Why is there a cold breeze just right here? I don't like that. This is creeping me out. It's like not often, but I feel like a cold breeze, like just right here by my side. It's spooking me out a little bit. So this is the paperwork. So follow the mysterious footprints. So I'm guessing I come here, put it, put it up there, right? Time to embalm. Cool. Time to embalm. Let's go. Time to show my embalming All right. skills. I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Yes, Everything's sir. on your list there if you need it. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Ma'am. That's what I thought. Don't move. All right. So here are all my tools. Let's see. What do we need to do first? Wire jaw shut with needle. What? This is new. This is the fastening stuff. So I need that to use to wire their their jaw shut. Okay. Eee. Right. Oh, that sounds awful. Am I doing this right? Oh, okay. I guess I just... God, this looks so bad. This looks painful. Oh, oh, okay. I see. And we're gonna wire it shut somehow. Boop. There we go. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that was one thing. Wire jaw. Okay, cool. We'll insert eye caps to keep eyes shut. I'm gonna open up her eyes first, make them nice and wide. Put the caps in there. I guess the caps are to help keep the eyes um, looking full, I guess, because like when you die, your eyes sink in, right? Close these bad right. boys up. This is simple enough, right? We're doing we're doing pretty good. Now let's see. Mix the em embalming fluid in the pump. See, this is what we did in the demo. Um, these are all the things that you need for the embalming. Yeah. <laughs> okay, put it down. <laughs> Jesus Christ, fuck it. Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly. Uh-huh. And it can make them pop like that. Just keep doing your thing. I'll get it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Sure. Put that in there. Grab that and put that in there, or or not. Um, can I can I grab that? There we go. Now we're now we're cooking with with the grease. <clears throat> yep, and this one. Oh, this is the formaldehyde. Okay. Oh wait, no, I need that. Give me that. Do I turn it on? How do I turn it on? Make an incision. So scalpel. Um, we're gonna need that. And I'm gonna make a incision in the jugular. Slip. Hmm. Jose. Better Jose. Alright. Um this thing. I mean we need these. We need the Forceps. Can I grab that as well? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm going to need those two because then we're going to stick them in here. And PVC pipe. Cool. Now we're all set. So, uh, how's the wife and kids? They good? <laughs> <laughs> 
Did you have a good Christmas? No, not much of a talker? That's okay. That's okay. This is very loud. Is it always this loud? And it also smells pretty bad, but, you know, I, I guess it comes with the territory, right? Oh, does, does that mean it's done? Did it just pop? <laughs> Boop. So we don't need that anymore. We can close it all up, right? And close it up. There we go. Let's see, what else do we need to do? Fill an empty IV inserted in the abdominal cavity. Wow. Okay. I'm learning a lot. What was that? What was that? What was that? Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see something? Um. Hello? You shouldn't be here. We're going to need this to inject the fluid. Shut that in. Juicy. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Considering I'm not, you know, like a master at this or anything. Where are they? Why are there footprints on both sides? Jesus, why are you looking at me like that? What do I do with this? Oh, this is the cleaner. Flow clean. Cleaner. Okay. What do I feel like her eyes are going to pop open? Um, do I just... Okay. This is a little awkward with you just standing there watching me. Not talking. Okay, so that's done. Apply moisture. <gasps> Apply moisturizer to facial features. Oh, and then return the body to cold storage. So we're gonna make her look all dulled up. She's gonna look really, really good after we're done with her. All right. This is new because I haven't. I didn't have to do this in the demo. Okay, let's. Moisturize your face, get the nose, the chin, the... <gasps> what the hell? Granny. Tell you what. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Uh... uh are you sure? I, I just got here. Yeah. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. Okay. Are... All right, um, okay, all right, well, uh, it was nice, uh, meeting you and working with you. I mean, I, I already ahead. met you. It's fine. Oh, okay, all I'll right. I'll give you a call when we get someone in. Okay, all right, see ya, I guess. That was weird. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? Yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. It just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Uh, wait a sec. I have another oh, call. Oh, that was the call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've 
done a fantastic job. Yay! Just not feeling too well. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks so, again. So professional. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, and is it just me? Holy or... shit. That was him. He signed me on. Does he he needs me like, to come oh in tonight. <gasps> see? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Yay. Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. I'll talk to you later. Shut the door. All right. Beep, beep. Oh, wait. It's in the 1990s, so, like, I don't know if they had cars that that beeped. All right. Guess I'll head to the back and get started. <gasps> oh! Oh! Hello! Who are you? Wait, I'm locked. Uh... Okay. Hi, Rebecca. <sighs> Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. I know you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is very sudden. It's but him. Listen to me. We have to start right away. Raymond. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, <gasps> let alone bound to you. What? I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's okay. far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? We have okay. Bomb. File the paperwork. Everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Ugh. Damn it. What the fuck? Wait. Ugh, this is insane. Okay. This is so stupid. It's just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just... Just play along. And do your job. Alright, so he left this stuff for me. So we got an old key, hall key, and a tape recorder. Okay. Where's that? I don't in? have my clipboard. Oh. Um, what about my inventory? Okay, so those are just in my pockets. And the tape recorder is on the side here. Uh, ooh! Thunder! Like this. Okay. I'm fucking quitting tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, who does something like this? Right. I quit tomorrow too. Shoot. Hello. Right, listen carefully. I'm look. I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This yeah. isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, do you will need? need to learn the demon's name. Okay. Bind it to its chosen body and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. Uh, no pressure, then. No pressure at all. Sets to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. Okay. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. Burn the most the important body. thing in the room is in that cabinet. <sighs> Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. 
Oh god, okay. This is insane. Whatever. Just see the professional one, grab a body, and get started. Uh, let's see. What is in this? Yeah, screw all of whatever this is. I'm getting back to work. I don't know, man. I feel like we should, like, examine it. So these are things. I'm guessing these... Because, like, I remember I was able to put one of them on here. But I couldn't really do anything with it. There's... What is it? A bottle of an unknown liquid used to identify a demonic tendency. There are these plates. Letter strip. Special piece of scripture with the ability to reveal demonic markings. When a demonic marking is near, the parchment will smolder and combust, bringing the mark into material world to be found. Cool, that sounds very useful. The Night Shift database. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference Whatever. point. Whatever. Just the database grab contains a body all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, replay these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. Okay. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Okay. Use it. Okay, all right, so. Uh, let's see. Uh, nope. Oh, there's a key. Oh, what does this key do? Lord, um, not sure what this belongs to. What's up? Rebecca, Raymond asked me to take over restocking the rest of the supplies in the embalming room, but he's so secretive. I feel like I get different instructions every day. Sorry if it's not what you're used to, Zoe. P.S. Could you ask him to stop calling me Zoe? No one calls me that. There's a key. Another key. It's an extra key. Do I take that? I guess I don't take that. Um, God, that's a weird smile. 66250. So Mr. Delver's work badge for body... Pick up in local hospital for 1944. Alright, so 66250. 66250. Raymond, I really need a key to the hatch outside. Cleaner is low, and you mentioned having someone some down there before. I know you don't trust anyone to go down there, but having a copy of the key would make things a lot easier for everyone. Zoe. Alright, what was it again? I think it was like six 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 two five zero. Um, Ooh. <laughs> what did that do? Oh, 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 there's a mark. Uh, it looks like a H. H with two dots. Okay. H, 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 H. That has to mean something, right? Okay, let's look at this. H. H? H with two dots. Okay, so that was my first clue. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take that with me. H with two dots. Whatever. Just grab a body. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you, until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. Okay. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. Okay. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known. Great. Allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Okay. Just, Just scribble. scribble. Okay. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Okay. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. All right. 
how long I might have. Scribbling. Scribbling paper. Alright. Um. Okay. I, I don't know what that means. But we gotta, we gotta scribble, so... We gotta be quick. Apparently. Uh, okay, let's listen to the last one. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body, with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn right. it. Okay. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigil of of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them, so check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the Night Shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with, and use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture, uncover the sigils, build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. This seems, this, this seems like a lot. This seems like a lot. A lot of, uh, a lot of information. Okay. Crummy old building. Sure, yeah, yeah, it's just... Lock me in here. Scare the shit out of me. Just a crummy old building. Okay. Let's see. First, first person. go. He has a weird marking on his head. Not sure how I feel about this. Oh god, this heavy body. Alright. Okay. This isn't scary at all. Alright, let's check you out. Alright, let's um, uh, scribble. Okay, we're still good. Uh, let's see, let's see. Clipboard. Let's get the clipboard out. Let's look at the body. Uh, rotate your hand. Okay, nothing there. Okay. Leg. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello? I, I don't know. Hi. Uh, scribble. Okay. Nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. Whatever. Um. I don't care how long I went to school. New career path. Fuck this. Fine. What is going on? Maybe. No. Why am I moving slow? Maybe. It's, it's right. fine. Everything, everything's not fine. Everything is not fine at all. No, I, I you're just you're just as much as I'm just saying things. I just need to get back to work. No, no, it's, it's fine. It's not fine. This is not fine. None of this is fine. Did I look at his feet? I, I I think I did. I don't know. I tried to look at his feet, but the lights went out. Screw this. I'm getting back to work. This is so stupid. 
I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Oh, nice. I love that. I love that little, uh, little reference, little throwback. Okay. Look at his face. Golly. He's had some, some abrasions to the forehead, it seems. Okay. Um, where's my clipboard? I think that was it, right? I think I looked at everything, right? All right, let's put this all. Now I can actually access it. Okay, cool. Nice to know. So his name is Nicholas Cox. Mr. Cox is 32 years old. Oh God, I'm so sorry, dude. Um, so he had, uh, he mud, he mud, he mud, he had this on his head. Okay, okay. And his right arm. And that was it? Was that it? Oh, I didn't check the back. I didn't check his back. Okay. Can I check his back? Rotate him. Ah! Okay. That was the only thing I didn't check. Uh, sure, we'll go with left shoulder even though it was on the right. Am I missing something? Oh. Oh, on his chest. He had something on his chest. There we go. Okay, fine. Left shoulder. Yeah. There we go. What in God's... What is that? I need to... File the copy up front. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue my job, maybe, or not. Okay, it wants me to go look at this, yes, what do you, what do you need? It just, oh! Great, awesome, that... It made me crazy, I guess. Six six two five zero six six two five. Why is that door shut? Um That's not what I wanna do. I'm I'm trying to God damn it. Jesus Christ, what am I supposed to do? God now you have me all conflustered, confused. Time to embalm. Okay. First, let's clear the room, make sure. Nothing is around. Okay, this area is safe. Oh, okay. Where? Z. Or three? Three. Three, 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 three. The jaggedy looking three. I want to say it's this one. It looks like a Z with a swirl, right? Yeah. All right, what do I have to do first? Okay. Wired, okay, wired the jaw with the needle and the, the setting thing. I gotta figure out where all that is. So I have no idea. Fastening. Okay, so we're gonna need the fastening. Okay, got that. And we're gonna need this. So that's the first step. Let's get this done. As quickly as possible, right? Okay. That's one, two, three. Okay. One, two, and three. Or four. Sweet. Now let's sew you. So you let's so you shut. There we go. All right, got that out of the way. Um, let me check my sanity. Okay, we're still good. Why is that turned off? I don't like that. That was turned off. Just. 
this door? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't like that. Okay. Um, so. Did that. We gotta insert the eye caps. Okay, where are the eye caps? Uh, okay. Eye caps, eye caps, eye caps, eye caps. Eye caps! I'm afraid to look up. I'm, I'm a little busy! You're gonna have to, um, come back another day, thank you. Shut his eyes. Come back another day, please. We are far too busy. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm scribbling a lot just because I'm like not a hundred percent sure. Of what is going on? <laughs> Mix embalming fluid into pump. So it's in the odd. Okay, they want me to put the all the embalming fluid stuff. Including this. So let me put this in there. Okay, there's one. Okay, put that in there. Are you moving? You better not be twitching, buddy. Oh, that's a bleaching agent. I don't know if I need that. Is it this? No, the hide. Okay. And I think there is one thing up here. Yeah, this stuff. A gluten something or other. Okay. Check that. And... Oh, I am missing one. It's not that. Got that. Oh, this stuff. There we go. Now, now we got it all. In there, turn it on. Oh wait, no. Um, I need the snizzers, the forceps. Uh, where's my demon thing? Hello? Any demons in here? Okay. Right, I think we're okay. Okay. Um, oh, I know what I was doing. So I need to get this stuff. Okay. Check my sanity. Okay, sanity is still okay. I'm missing work. something. Oh, oh, scalpel. Scalpel. I'm missing a scalpel. I was missing something. So, yeah, I'm so nervous. So nervous. You'd think that I wasn't a professional here. Okay. And let's open that up. Let's add the forceps. Okay. And... There we go. Okay, six, 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 two, five, zero. All right, all right. Night shift, database, here we go. While learning the names of the demonic entity is more about waiting, identifying which body is experiencing demonic tendencies require paying close attention while any of the bodies can be manipulated, it is far easier for the entity to control its own vessel. Suddenly, sudden movements, large or small, can be a sign of tendencies. If a body appears to be more active than others, 
or strange markings start to appear, it may be a sign of demonic tendencies. However, the demon is trying its best to remain elusive and may manifest its manipulation of their bodies, which is why it's very important to take note. Great. The appearance of new markings on a body suddenly move large or small. A body with demonic abrasions may display sudden movement. These movements can be as small as twitch finger, full body manipulation. All right. This working? Yeah. This thing is huge. Is that Raymond? So, uh, I guess, um, this is David. Raymond, this feels insane, but I think you were right. This has happened a few times now, but let me see if I can get in here. There it is. Fuck. Fuck! Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Good to know. They all have their own different names? Azel? Kovos? Maset? Oh, oh, okay, so we have a th we have a thing with Maset? Maybe? Maset? We'll see? Oh, it, or it could be... Tekshi? We'll see. Uh... Because they both have these. We're gonna have to find out what the other two are. But that's what I'm what I'm seeing so far. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Me. Of course. Why did you? Bra. Why'd you turn off the light? Stop turning off the light. Not cool. Okay. Not cool. Let's get back to work. Let's throw you up, buddy. Okay, now I have to take this thing. Um, moisturizer. And one of these. Nope. Nope. Fill it. Okay. Now, let's insert. Yeah, watching for any sudden movements on this cadaver. This abracadaver. A yeah, big boy, too. There we go. Mix cleaner in the bathroom closet to create tank cleaner, then pour into that. Add moisturizer, then return the return the body. I keep pressing the wrong thing. Okay. And that. Okay, got that. We should be good to clean this then, right? I always back into this corner just because I feel like I'm safe back here, even though I know I'm really not. I'm really not. Okay, we gotta apply moisturizer, so... Moist moisturizing wet wipes. Boop. Let's clean you off. Make you look nice and pretty. Yeah. Alright. Flying solo. I'm on my own. This is great. Alright. Okay. I don't like this. Nope, 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 nope. Something's going on. Something's going on. I feel you. Okay. Alright, mister. 
taking you back. Such a big boy. you in there. Who's next? Here we go. Okay, pull you out, mister. I feel like I'm so disoriented. Oh, I meant to, uh, okay, maybe I have to close that first, and then I'll open. There we go. Ugh, why are you smiling? I hate that he's smiling at me. Alright. Next body. Let's go. Now look at his body parts. Got it. Let's rotate him. Nothing on the back. Cool. Good to know. Got abrasions on his hands. Does have something there. Looks like he got into a patch of poison ivy. you're trying to do and it's not gonna work bro it's not gonna work there we go you can keep knocking but I'm not coming in I really do wonder like what happens if you don't interact with the ghost is that like does it make it worse or better you know what I mean Take this with us just in case. Okay. Alright, let's do this again. Be quick, painless. We got this. The cracking. It's the cracking every time for me. Yep. Yep. There we go. Yeah, I feel like I'm I'm starting to really get the hang of this. No! I know your tricks! He said to not even like acknowledge the phones. Okay? I'm just gonna right. focus and do my job. I think that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get me to actually answer the phone so that way I can um be more uh susceptible to this possession, but I'm too smart for you guys. I'm way too smart for you. We're gonna get our job done quickly, quietly, without any fuss, no muss. <laughs> it is really annoying, though, that the phone is ringing constantly. That's right, I have to get the forceps. Okay, got that. Get this knife. Okay, got that. And I'm gonna need this thing underneath here. Can I grab it? Thank you. Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's get this done. Quickly. And quietly. Uh, forceps. Okay, got that. And tubing. Ready to go. Let's go. Check my sanity. Okay, we are still good. Really? Stop. Stop it. Stop messing with me. Stop it. Okay. This is not helping. Not helping. Not helping. Demon. My heart is racing right now. Um, I'm trying really hard to remain calm. She's really making it difficult to 
that. Cool. Rebecca? Nope. 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 Where is... Come here. No. Come here now. No. No! I know what you're doing. I Rebecca, know... come here. No. Come here now. I know what you're doing! This is an illusion! <laughs> this is not real, okay? I am going to... I'm going to continue with my work. Okay. I'm going to continue with my work, if you do not mind. Thank you. Okay. I need this. It won't... Rebecca. It won't let me grab this. You clearly... Clearly you want me to... In, you want me to... You want me to go down this hallway, don't you? Okay. Alright, fine. I will indulge. Who is that? Mom. Mom? What the hell? You stupid bitch. Hate me all you want. He's dead because of you. You should be the one here. Lifeless. Worthless. You're awake on this me! Um, so, uh, I had a hallucination with the, with the second guy. Okay, so. Somewhere around here. Okay, not there. Okay, it's not here. It's like, hot, hot, hot. Z. Okay. C. Z, 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 Z. This one. And the H. C. God dang it! Would you stop? Which demon? Which demon is it? Which demon? <laughs> stop. 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 Why aren't you coming? Um, I'm sorry. No. You're a demon. Rebecca. No. I'm gonna find out which demon you are. None of these, none of these guys. It's none of these guys. Why are you coming? Because you're a demon and I don't trust you. None of these guys. None of these guys. So it has to be Rebecca. from the dis desolation? Yes, it's this one. Tesh, Teshak, Teshak. So I'll, I'll get Come the final, here. I'll get the final answer once I get this piece, if it is this piece. But Rebecca, this is the one that I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's Test Shack. So we have to figure out which body, which, in my opinion, Rebecca. with everything that's been going on, I'm pretty sure it's it's that guy. I'm pretty sure it's this one because I've had the most hallucinations with this Rebecca. person. Stop calling me <laughs> person. Rebecca. Hi. I can. I can. No. Rebecca! No, stop calling me. Why aren't you coming? Because I'm busy. I'm working. I'm okay? missing something. What am I missing? Oh, wait. Crap. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Come over here. No. I'm missing this. I am working, okay? Rebecca! You can, you can like, find your way somewhere else, okay? Grab that. Okay, grab. Mix it with that. 
Okay. Ink. Clean the tank. Alright. What was that? Did you shut the door on me? Okay. Add moisturizer. Pretty sure you're the one. You are probably the the, the one that the demon is right. attached to the most. We're still good. Let me just make sure. Wait a second. I shut this. I shut that door. Y'all are Tom Fullering. This guy is out now. Now you're making me wonder. Now you're making me wonder. Could it be that one? Or is it this one? <laughs> I'm just holding this sacred piece of paper just in case. Alright. I'm stick you back in, buddy. Put that away. Okay. Close this up. All right, final body. Who is this? Alexis. Miss Martinez. How are you today? You resting peacefully? I sure hope so. Okay. So let's uh, start with hands, see if there's any abrasions. Nothing there. Nothing on her. Oh, there is something on her chest, but... Oh, and her face, but we'll rotate her. Um, there's a mole. Oh, that was creepy. She has an abrasion on her leg. It's back at it again. You're, you're just trying to distract me. I know what you're doing. Miss Martinez! She died at 80 years old. She lived a long, healthy life. Rash on her right shoulder. Right... Right shoulder. <clears throat> Mole... Left shoulder. Contusion on her left leg. We're doing good. We're doing good. Print faster. Jesus. Okay. We are a pro by now. We know what to do. Oh, boy. Gotta love the whispering in my ear. This is fun. No, we're a pro here. We're a pro. We, we gotta get the, uh, the needle and the, the dingamabobber. Whew. You're not going to distract me from, from this. There we go. Nice and tight. Cool. Get the eye caps. Um, I do not like. Didn't see it! Ha! I don't know if that's great for you or me, but I did not see it. Let's put these caps in and close them up. All right. What are you throwing? What, what did you throw? What the hell is that? What is that? Why is that floating? Why? Look at, look at that. What is that? Why is that ball, like, it, it, is it like a container? What is it doing? I'm gonna shut these now. Stop opening my cabinets. This one. 
two. Oop. Three. No! No, God! No, God! God dang it! No! What? Why? Get back on your table! Get back on your table! <laughs> what happened? Okay, this was definitely in the, um, this was in the, uh, the demo. I remember that. And I still feel like she was in a prison. I, like, I feel like this is either a prison or an asylum. This is something. I miss you so much. I don't care about anything anymore. I don't want to be here without you. Please, just. I love you. Young Rebecca. Okay, so somebody died, clearly. Somebody! Get me out of here! They're gonna... Hello? They're gonna kill me! Who is? Stop it! Stop it! Stop what? Stop it! Me okay, definitely uh, an asylum of some sort, right? High risk. Okay, can't go through there. Okay. Got some medication. Oh, antidepressants. It was given to me. Take once a day with food. I bet you she didn't, right? She probably didn't. file there. Ooh, keys to the high risk wing. Oh, hi. Is it because I've been avoiding you? Because, um, you know, you're, you're, you're a demon. I, I thought that was kind of the, the game, cat and mouse, right? Oh, you want me to follow you? Okay. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, so that's myself. With a cross. How, uh, how fitting. I'm sitting here holding your coin right now, wondering if I'll ever have one of my own. What would the point even be? Even if one day I'm sitting here holding my own, no matter how many years are printed on it, I would still always have yours in my other hand, never changing, stuck forever. It would always remind me of the life I cut short while I keep going. I can't imagine it. Oh. Oh, it's the coin. Five years coin, my dad's sobriety coin. Oh, that was the necklace. That's her dad's necklace. So I knew there was a significance. There was a significance to this necklace. So it was her dad's necklace and she had his sobriety coin. The mother in the Emmet, it, like, uh, uh, I don't know, delusion, disillusion, whatever it was before, was saying, is really the demon, but was saying, it's your fault that he took his life. Huh. So the demon is playing on my emotions, is what you're telling me. He's trying to blame me. My sobriety coin. Oh. That's what that's what that the whole thing was about. Okay, so five years for her dad before he ultimately was 
unalived. <laughs> and 10 years for me, because I'm still living and keep keep going, I guess. So she's feeling like, what's the point? Okay, what else? What else is there? Is there anything else to this? What am I missing? There isn't a day I don't think about you. Memories will flash into my mind, uninvited, in a moment of bliss, torn down by unimaginable guilt. Nothing they give me helps. I still have your necklace. It's one of the few things they let me keep in here. So she wa- like, this is like, this is clearly like they were in an asylum or, or something. Because why else would they, why else would she not be able to have possessions? I'm not sure if I can handle having it anymore, though. I'm giving it to my grandmother when she visits next. And that's why she gave it back right before. Hmm. I want so badly to have that piece of you with me, but I'm afraid of it. I don't deserve it. You told me that when I was little, I would put it around your neck every morning as a way to wake you up. I guess kids just like shiny things and annoying their parents. I didn't really remember it much. I just remember you being annoyed with me after the hundredth time. But I would give anything to put it around your neck one last time to see you wake up. God, that's so sad. <gasps> oh, Jesus. You should have died when you had the chance. <laughs> It is the L. Um, and it's also on uh, Nicholas Cox's thing. Which makes me believe that it's him. Nicholas. It's the L. It's the L. Okay, um, let me just make sure it's this. This guy. The Theshra. Leave it this world? Yeah. It's that guy. Okay, so we know which demon it is. Um, I guess what we need to do is just finish this. We need to finish this. So, I know I need that. I already have one of those. Oh, I do? Oh, okay. That's right, because he wouldn't let me finish my work, even though I was trying to ignore him. Stuff. I need that stuff. Okay. Have to get to the scalpel. And I need one of these. I'm missing something. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope. Forceps first, and then the tubing. Can I? Oh! No, it's not. No. Nope. No. I'm trying. Okay, it's not letting me. I need to engage Don't Pump. Don't you love your grandma? No, because you're not my real grandmother. You're really not. You're not my real grandmother. It's so cold out here. No. Dang it. Need. I need one of those things, right? I can't. Let me, you little bitch! Excuse me! No! What happens? Like, I know what demon it is, right? What happens if I end up choosing the wrong one? 
Because I feel like it would be the, um... I feel like it's, it's I'm the... I'm missing something. I feel like it's the guy, right? Oh my god, why? Stop. Dang it. Okay. I feel like it's the guy, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Okay, so that's done. We need to mix cleaner. Okay. Mix the cleaner. Mix the cleaner. We're gonna ignore you guys. I'm ignoring all of you guys. Oh, fuck you! That guy is the creepiest looking thing. I, I don't know. I think it's just because his mouth is like pitch black. His eyes have black circles around him and his skin is far paler than what it should be. <sighs> okay, apply moisturizer. God, there's a lot going on with her, too. Get you all cleaned up. Miss Martinez looking so beautiful. Right. Let's go, Miss Martinez. Miss Martinez, let's go. Let's stick you back where you belong. I feel like... I feel like even though Miss Martinez had a lot going on with her, I really do feel like, um... I feel like this guy needs to be looked at again. So we're gonna pull him out. Because one of them, one of them is, is the demon, right? So we're gonna look at all of them and see which one gets a mark on them, right? Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, all right, so. We already know. We got this. I got this, all right? What do I do? Do I reveal? It's rotated. Yes! Ha! There is a mark on him. There is a mark on this guy. I feel like I feel like he is it. I really do. I really feel like he's the one. I really do. But part of me, part of me wants to... Part of me wants to see the other guys. But I'm not sure. Um, can I take that back? Okay, yeah, you know what? You know, no. You know what it is? You know what it is? You know what it is? You know No, no, no. No, no, no. Um, how do I put the how do I put the tab tabby tab tablet? How do I put it on him? How do I mark him? I did it before. How do I put the mark on him? Mark him. Mark him. We're 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 taking you, mister. <laughs> pretty sure. I am pretty sure. I am very confident. And if I'm wrong, well then you, then I guess I guess I get possessed, right? I'm pretty sure. Fingers crossed. I think he's the one. He had a mark on him, right? Isn't this just fantastic? There you are. Good. Is it over? It's never over. Ooh, I made it today. 
What do you mean? Can I leave? I want to go home. You can leave. But once an entity finds you, all the houses of hell will do anything to get back to you. I'm sorry, but it doesn't end here. From now on, there is always a chance this will happen again. No matter where you are. What? I don't want this. I just want to leave. What do I do? I'm sorry, but there's no going back. I've spent years learning everything I can to keep these entities at bay. It's the only thing we can do. So what, you're waging some selfless holy war? Holy it's not war. a war. It's survival. And I'd hardly call it selfless. We're caught at the front line of something larger. But I don't do this for some greater good. The greater we good. We face it, or fall to it. I wish I could claim to be someone better. Suffering hell to save us all. But I simply want to live another day, just like everyone else. When I first experienced this, I had to make a choice. I could run and spend the rest of my days in fear, or I could learn to face it and keep some semblance of a normal life. Ow. Normal. Right. Right, exactly. How can you have a it's normal a life, life with demons around you? But choosing between a life of fear or control. <sighs> You're the first person I've met to face this hell and survive. <gasps> So I'm offering you a different kind of job. What's that? Work the night shift. Uh -huh. Learn what I know. Okay. Give yourself a chance at a life beyond fear. Right. I don't know what you experienced, but I know it uses the worst parts of you against yourself. The more you experience, the more you'll confront the darkest parts of your life. But through it, you'll become unbreakable. Really? I'm offering the tools to take control. The choice is yours. I hope you come back. No, absolutely not. Oh, so the, there's multiple endings? <gasps> Did I get the good one? Where does it, what is it, starting all over? Oh my God. If after playing this game, you experience abnormal happenings around your home or have sudden changes in the behavior of yourself or loved ones, reach out immediately to your local church and paranormal investigators. They really went all out. That is really cool. So then what happens now? <gasps> There's a second shift. Oh man, okay, wow, this is cool. So this is like an ongoing thing, I guess. So you can continue to the next shift. Aw, oh, man. Shifts completed one. Times possessed zero. Demons banished one. Bodies embalmed three. Bodies burned one. Endings. One out of five. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was uh, one of my longer videos, but I hope you stuck around to the end. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want me to do a second shift. All right. Let me know, guys. Uh, I'd be more than happy to do one for you guys or two or three, depending on how these go. But that game, like it, it, it was awesome. The Mortuary's assistant was really good. I'm glad that I took the time to actually play the full, at least I, I don't know if this is one chapter or what, but anyways. It's already been a long enough video, guys, so have a good night, and I will see you next time. I love you. Don't forget your poops. <laughs>